Lakers Warriors game two. In this video, I'm going to give you a betting preview of this game, looking at all of the different odds that sportsbooks have to offer for this game and finding some value. The Warriors lost game one at home against the Lakers, obviously, in what was a pretty, I mean, really good game, right? The Lakers were winning pretty much the entire second half. Then the Warriors went on a 14-0 run to tie the game up in the fourth quarter. Everybody, including myself, was expecting the Warriors to take it away. But props to the Lakers to weather that storm and to still win the game despite giving up that run. Uh, and what was a really interesting game stylistically with the Warriors jacking up a ton of threes, like they had three players, Jordan Poole, Steph Curry, and Klay Thompson that hit six three-pointers each, and the Lakers hit six as a team, which is just crazy. So regardless of that, let's look and see where the value is on game two and see where the best bets are. As for the money line, we see Warriors best offered at minus 213. Granted, that is at Circus Sports, where that's viewed as a sharp sports book. Best offered on a non-sharp sports book would be DraftKings at minus 215. I personally wouldn't really recommend that. It's about in line where all of the different sharp sports books price it, so I wouldn't really touch that. Same thing with the Lakers money line. Long story short, no play on the money line here. Uh, bookmaker having this at plus 206 as a sharp sports book. The best offered on a non sharp sports book at some small book in Colorado, SBK at plus 196, with FanDuel and uh, points bet having it at plus 190. So, no play on the money line. Let's talk about the spread. Now, I will preface this. One of my betting systems specifically for the playoffs, that is when the home team loses game one, assuming they're favored, which they almost always are. The home team loses game one. They win game two like 80% of the time, and they cover like 65% of the time. So in the Knicks heat, that was also, that betting system was also um, a play that, depending on where you looked, that game either pushed or the heat actually covered, right? The Knicks won by six. Some sport, sports books had them as six point favorites. Some had them at six and a half. So depending where you look, uh, that was a push. TBD on the Sixers Celtics tonight, because I'm recording this before that game is going on. But in the first round, this betting system was 4-0. But the most important thing here is getting value. And there really isn't, unfortunately, a value on the spread on this one, right? Lakers are at plus six or plus five and a half, depending on where you look. So despite losing, the Warriors are even bigger favorites in game two, probably because the books are taking this betting system into account. Um, so again, depending on where you look, Warriors five and a half, Warriors minus six point favorites. If we look at the sharp sports books, Circa Vegas, very sharp book, has it at five and a half. Um, Pinnacle has it at six, but they favor the Lakers at six. So if anything, the Lakers plus six would probably be the play here just from looking at the value. But it's best offered at minus 113 at Bat Rivers, and I personally wouldn't recommend that. So unfortunately, not going to have a play on the spread. Now looking at the total, uh, pretty use universally aligned on 227 and a half, except for Circa, which has it at 227. You, it's rare you see this type of conformity when it comes to a spread, right? Or a total, either one of them. Like the spread is, you see mix between six and five and a half. It's rare you see a total this universally aligned at a number. I'm guessing over the course of the day, this is going to change and we'll be able to find some value on one of the main markets. But I didn't leave this video with no picks for you guys. I do have an early player prop to lock in, which is Andrew Wiggins under one and a half made three pointers plus 120 odds at Bet Rivers. This is a really good play here, right? Look at every other book and where they price it. We see DraftKings at plus 105. Every other book is for even money in the plus 100 range, plus 101, plus 103, all the way down to minus 105. So this Andrew Wiggins play under one and a half made three pointers is a really, really good play. So that is the official bet for this video. Unfortunately, we didn't have anything on the total, the spread or the money line. As much as I wanted to bet the system and get the Warriors at, at their spread, I'm not just going to blindly bet it without any value there. And unfortunately, there was no value. But that's okay. Live to place another bet. Only bet when there is value. And that's how you can be profitable. If you force stuff, that's how you start losing money, which honestly happened to me in April. One of my worst months, because I was down, I started to force it and made some bad picks, which we're not going to do in May. It's a new month. But regardless, one bet. We got a player prop, Andrew Wiggins, under one and a half made three-pointers plus 120 odds at Bet Rivers. And that's all I got. So if you're tailing, comment and let me know. Other than that, appreciate you watching and have a good one. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. 
Below are all of my different social medias where I post picks and plays daily. Make sure to hit me up there. Also, make sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel as I'm constantly putting out new videos to learn how to make money sports betting. And that's it. So thanks for watching and have a good one.